please hit subscribe. Here are some of the frequently asked questions about the Max undergraduate scholarships. What is the screening process? We can divide the screening process into four different parts. First is the document screening. This is when you submit your application form, your transcripts, recommendation letters, and medical certificates to the embassy. If they think that you pass the document screening, you will be invited for an examination. The exams will be different for different fields of study. If you qualify, you will be invited for an interview. In the interview, at least one of the interviewers will be from the embassy, a Japanese national. If you are successful with the interview, they will forward your application to Tokyo and you will be waiting for the results for about a year. The final selection happens in Tokyo and you will not hear from them for an extended period of time. How do I get through the document screening? We know that we are asked to submit for medical certificates, recommendation letters, and transcripts. Therefore, it makes sense that they will be checking if you are healthy, if you have good recommendation letters, and perhaps if you have above average marks. There is no definite guidance from the embassy or from MEX regarding the specific criteria that they use for each of these. What are the chances of being invited to the exam? This question is based on the assumption that your chance of being invited is based on the number of applicants or how good the marks are of the other applicants. However, I think that MEX does not grade on a curve. What that means is that it doesn't matter how many applicants are applying from your country. What matters is that you meet the minimum requirements with regards to marks and grades. What are the exams for social sciences and humanities? Based on the 2023 application guidelines from the official website, we know that the applicants for social sciences and humanities fields have to take the following exam. English A, Japanese A, and Maths A. What are the exams for natural sciences? Based on the 2023 application guidelines uploaded in the official website, we know that all applicants for the natural sciences fields will have to take the following four exams. English B, Japanese B, Math B, and Chemistry. On top of that, those who are applying for Natural Sciences A will have to take a Physics exam. For those who are applying for Natural Sciences B and C will have to take a Biology exam. How will my score in the Japanese language exam affect my application? Barely. We know that they use your exam scores to put you in the appropriate class in the language school. During my time, there were seven language school classes. That means the students in our language school were separated into seven groups. Each group had around seven to eight students. And the abilities of the members of each group are about the same. So if you are advanced, you will be put in class A, for example, or class B if you are around intermediate, and class C if you have around some understanding. And if you have zero, you might be put in all the other classes. In my experience, I got zero for the Japanese exam. 
I did not even try to answer the exam and just wrote my name. Are the exam questions the same for all countries? Yes. How much scores must I get to be interviewed? For this question, there is no official, publicly available data. Therefore, I can only answer with my own opinion. I think that if you get 50% of the total marks, excluding Japanese, it might give you a good chance to be invited for an interview. For the Japanese high school students to get into university, they have to take at least one exam, which is the central test. The average scores in the central test changes by year, but it's around 60% for mathematics, for example. So, if you get marks that are around the average marks for the central test, it might mean that they will consider your application. How much score must I get to be assured a place? Unfortunately, nothing is sure until the final selection in Tokyo. However, some of my seniors have told me that, excluding the Japanese exam, if you get 60% of the total, then you have a good chance of getting a place. If you score 75% of the total, you have a very good chance. Again, we are excluding Japanese because there are many cases when the applicant has scored zero in Japanese and yet got a spot. And to be fair, they also mentioned that the Japanese exam is only for reference and not really a basis of the selection. If I get interviewed, what is the chance of getting the scholarship? It is hard to tell. However, I got some information that recently around 170 students were given the scholarship from all over the world. During our time, there were around 100 students. Those are the most frequently asked questions regarding the screening process for the MEXT undergraduate scholarships. Some of the answers are based on publicly available guidelines and MEXT information. However, some answers are based on pure speculation. If you learned something new today, Please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!